Hi everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Realm of Magic. So today it's a Harvest Fest, or actually right now, it's Harvest Fest. And Genevieve is still asleep, she's back at her parents' house, which is actually a house that I downloaded off the gallery. And this is the house that I have placed in Oasis Springs. I don't remember if I said where Genevieve's family was living, but now they're living in Oasis Springs anyway, and it's actually closer to Genevieve's mother's work, which I will tell you a bit more about in just a second. But this house was built by Sky with Thane, with Ain, with Anne. I'm not sure how to pronounce this name, this username, but this is the house that I downloaded. It's called Suburban Home 2, and it's just perfect for this family. There are three bedrooms and kitchen, dining, living. There's even a gym area, which is perfect for Judy's work, Genevieve's mother's work. There's an office area, but I will just do a quick tour for you guys to see this house. So this is Genevieve's bedroom right now, and I think it reflects a little bit her personality. It's not heavily decorated. I did not decorate too much this room. But yeah, this is Genevieve's room. This is Anthony's room, Genevieve's little brother. And there's a computer. He's really into computer gaming right now. He's a teenager, so you know, that's what I'm going with. This is Genevieve's parents' room, the master bedroom with the master ensuite. You also have over here the main bathroom area. And then downstairs, you have the kitchen. And I love this flooring here in the kitchen. It really reminds me of The Sims 1's kitchens, kitchen flooring. You also have a bathroom downstairs and then of course you have the living area with the the dining area with the living area. You also have a office as I said an office and here is the gym area. So now also of course you have the pool and the the backyard. I just added in a fence because I wanted for the backyard to feel a bit more closed in like you know this is their lot and it's not part of the community uh but yeah they're living in this neighborhood of oasis springs with the roomies just next door so yeah this is where the family lives now let me introduce you to the family so this is robert morrison this is genevieve's father oh no there's a fire how did we win 50 simoleons? Oh, because it was Genevieve's day off. Also, I don't know why the family has 9 million simoleons. I guess they won the lottery at some point, because I definitely did not leave them with as much, with so much money when I first moved them into, into the world, so they must have won the lottery at some point. Uh, but let's go and ex extinguish this fire, please. Let's go here, extinguish. Oh, we can call the fire department. Let's do that. I've never done that before. So let's go and call the fire department. Uh, we do have a... Oh, Anthony is on it. Great. And... Oh no, is Ginger on fire? We need to extinguish the dog. Genevieve is on it as well. Wow. Oh, well, there we go. That's a good start. <laughs> uh, at least we got some money out of it. The fire has been put out, just try to be a little bit more careful next time, okay? Yes, we will. Let's go and replace the stove. <laughs> but there we go. What a good way to start this part. I'm always quite nervous when there's a holiday going on in my game, but I'm even more nervous now. Uh, but anyway, let me continue introducing you guys. Oh, poor Anthony, he's having a breakdown. So this is Robert Morrison, this is Genevieve's father, and he used to be a stay-at-home dad, but since Anthony started primary school, he started a career as an entertainer. He's now level 3 at this career, he's a C-lister. As for his aspiration, he wants to have a successful lineage, and his traits are genius, slob, a music lover, and of course a domestic from his aspiration. Anthony... Genevieve's little brother was actually, or actually he's still very tense, he's on the edge of a breakout, which is, I think is just so fitting for what's going on right now, first of all because of the fire, but also because his sister is back home and he knows that his sister doesn't really get along well with his mother and they tend to have fights often when they're together, so I think it fits so well what's going on right now, plus it's Harvest Fest, so he's definitely very tense because of this. So, there you go. As for Anthony, he's a romantic. He's also really gloomy, I guess. The relationship between his sister and his mother kind of got to him and now he's really gloomy. He's also alluring from his aspiration, which is to find his soulmate. And, of course, he is in high school. He's a C student right now. And then, finally, we have Judy. Judy, as you can see, she's in the military career. And 
this is something that dictates most of what she does in life. She's very strict, she always tells everyone around her how to behave and what to do, and that's something that Genevieve never really accepted really well, she's never really felt accepted that well by her mother. And this is also why the two of them usually get into a fight. It's because Judy tells Genevieve how to be, what to do, and Genevieve, she just doesn't like that as we know it. So, yeah. Judy, she's in the military and the family moved in Oasis Springs to get closer from Strangerville to be able to get closer as well from Judy's work. Judy's aspiration is to be a curator, apparently. She wants to collect as many things as possible. She's materialistic, she's also quite cheerful, and she's a foodie, and of course she has the collector trait from her aspiration. And also the family has a dog, they have Ginger over here who's disgusting, poor Ginger. And Ginger, uh, let me show you her traits. Ginger, she's playful and she's adventurous, and apparently she only has two traits, I must have forgotten to put her, to give her a trait as well. Uh, but yeah, this is the family, and this is their home. Now... Robert was actually doing, so, or actually baking, or cooking, sorry, some tofu, tofurky dinner for Genevieve because Genevieve is a vegetarian. But Judy, she really, really wants to have her turkey dinner for Harvest Fest. Her daughter's vegetarianism wasn't something that... Oh, it's even poor quality, that's sad. But yeah, Genevieve's vegetarianism is not something that Judy accepted easily. She's always struggled to understand her daughter's choices in life. She doesn't really understand why she has so much empathy for animals. I mean, the family has a dog and Judy would never eat a dog, for sure, but... She doesn't really care that much for the other animals, she feels like it's normal for sims to eat meat. So she's never really understood why her daughter was a vegetarian, and there's always, you know, the main meal and on this side, a vegetarian option. But it's just because Robert always thinks about that for his daughter, he's always accepted his daughter completely, he's never really questioned why she was a vegetarian, he just accepted that. While Judy, she's always tried to tell her daughter, well, you can eat meat, it's fine, You'd ne you've never met that animal, you don't feel anything for that animal. And that's also something that Judy and Genevieve has, have fight over, for sure, at some point. But let's have Anthony give a bath to to Ginger. So what I'd like to focus on for now is to try and have Genevieve be as nice as possible, I guess. Let's have her chat with her mom, so we need to be thankful. Let's try to chat with Judy. Let's sing about Harvest Fest, and I guess she can tell an unbelievable story. Maybe she can kind of give a hint to Judy about spellcasters. By the way, before Genevieve left Glimmerbrook, Astrid asked her to not talk about being a spellcaster and talk about magic. This is definitely something that I think Judy wouldn't accept really easily. And no one in the family knows that Astrid is a spellcaster, even though they've never, they haven't seen her in years. They only think that it's because she lives really far away. And of course, they have no idea that Genevieve hasn't been in university since she left the house. They only think that, you know, they, she's been in university, so Genevieve will have to lie about this. Oh, apparently Judy was annoyed at something that Genevieve said. Let's tell a gross joke. I don't know how Judy's gonna take that. And I think Robert is done with making the food. Everyone is getting a little bit hungry as well, so we should start thinking about eating something. Can maybe Robert ask Anthony as soon as he's done giving Ginger a bath to set the table? I guess Judy would like would like to ask Genevieve to do that, but since Genevieve is a young adult, I don't think she would say yes. No, she cannot ask her to set the table, and I, I'm sure that this is this is not something that Genevieve would do on her own. She doesn't really care about setting the table. Let's have Anthony leave the bathrooms and Robert ask him to set the table. Robert really wants for this family meeting to go well. Let's go and ask... Oh, he cannot ask to set the table? Well then, let's just have Anthony do that anyway. Set the table with fancy setting. Let's go with the, the border one, I guess. But let's have everyone sit at the table and chat together. Let's go and sit. Let's have Robert sing about Harvest Fest. I guess he would be very excited for the holiday to finally be here. He's definitely really excited to see his daughter again. And he's probably really curious to know what she's been learning in university since she left. Oh, Ginger is sleeping. That was a lot of action that happened. But I think everyone is getting hungry, so let's just go ahead and 
call everyone to the grand meal and I'm going to have Genevieve take a piece of tofurkey and not of the turkey, otherwise she's going to be sick. Let's not take this one, let's grab a serving of this one. Anthony, grab a serving. He doesn't want to be in the dinner, he's probably still very much scared of his mother and sister fighting again. Let's go and grab a serving, Judy. Alright, so everyone is eating together, but it's so silent. You can feel the tension between Judy and Genevieve. Plus, Judy just sat in front of Genevieve. So let's have Judy ask a few things to Genevieve. Let's uh, let's talk about the sunny weather. Let's just try to have a nice chat. Let's ask about day and ask her. So, how is university going? Because something that Judy really wanted for Genevieve to do was to go into a degree that would allow her to become a judge or a lawyer. This was what Judy was expecting for her daughter. But Genevieve never really shown any interests in the judicial system or even in being in the military or in the law career or even be a detective. That's That has never been anything that Genevieve was really interested in. So when she told her mom that she was going into the communication degree, Judy wasn't really happy, but she was glad that her daughter was thinking about higher education and she was pleased that Genevieve was going into, into communication. But I guess, you know, she would like for her maybe to switch at some point. She still has this hope that eventually Genevieve will think a bit more about her future and be a bit more down to earth when it comes to her career. Let's complain about TV size, why not? But yeah, Judy, she's right now telling Genevieve, you know, communication is fine and it seems interesting from what you're telling us, but I'd like for you maybe to think a bit more about something a bit more down to earth, like why aren't you that interested in maybe judging people, maybe that's something you would like. And Genevieve, she's not into that. And I guess these two, even though they're trying, she's going to argue about career. Like, you need to think a bit more about your future, my daughter. You need to think a bit more, see, not theoretically, but a bit more realistically about life and being in public relations, just like you're telling me, because that's probably what Genevieve told her mom. It's not something that you can make money of really easily. I think as a judge, I could help you get up the ranks a bit more easily, so you need to think about that. And poor Anthony, he's sad. Oh no, he's not happy about his mother and sister once again having a fight. And look at Robert, he's not, he's not okay as well. I guess it's because it's too warm. Let's go. We can burn money? No, let's put out the fire. And let's give Ginger some food and ask her to go potty. Look at this too. This is pretty much how things go between them. So how did this argument go? Oh, Genevieve is angry now. No win scenario. Why can they understand? No amount of logic and passion could move your foe. And how is Judy feeling? Yes, she's angry as well. Oh. Well, Genevieve is definitely really annoyed and I like the fact that she went into the bathrooms like, I'm, I can't stand her. I just can't. She's so annoying. She never accepts me. And I like that Robert is trying to cheer up Anthony on the side. So, just to get up to some mischief, I think Genevieve would go to this gnome here and she would kick the gnome. She's so angry and annoyed at her mom. And I left the gnomes actually for Harvest Fest because I'd like to imagine that these gnomes are gnomes that Genevieve summoned. And she just wants to mess around in the house and be a little bit mischievous. She knows that she has superpowers, but in front of her mom she feels helpless, she feels powerless. So she's going to be, as I said, a little bit mischievous. She's going to go ahead and kick the gnome and she knows that it's really dangerous and that this can actually cause a lot of problems in the house. Oh, she cannot access this gnome for some reason. Let's go and move the gnome around. Let's go and place it right here and kick the gnome. Can you kick it? Yes. No, you can't. Oh no, you cannot access because of the... Oh, there's a little bit of a glitch here apparently. Well, you know what? Let's go and put the gnome upstairs. Let's go and put it there. And let's go and kick it. Judy, Judy now is really angry. She she really wants for her daughter to be successful, but she... Oh no, the gnome moved. Let's go and kick this one. She really wants for Genevieve to be successful, but for some reason she cannot accept her daughter for who she is and what she likes. <laughs> Are you feeling better, Genevieve, now? <gasps> oh, she broke everything. All the gnomes are angry now. So things are definitely not going very well for the family right now. Look at the <laughs> the Grim Reaper gnome. It's watching. It's watching Judy. 
Maybe Genevieve did a magic spell on this gnome and she told this gnome to keep an eye on her mom just to freak her out. What is she gonna say to her dad? She's going to chat to Robert. Robert is actually, he's always been really good advice for Genevieve and he's always been really nice. Being a father was actually what he wanted to do in life and he's really glad that his daughter is back but he would like for her maybe to be nice with her mom so let's tell a funny story and let's tell her an engaging story. Let's tell her, I'm really proud of you. I'm really really happy for you to be in university but please try to accept your mom and I know that she's not really easy but try to understand that she just wants the best for you. But I don't think Genevieve would have the patience for this. There are so many gnomes everywhere. They're all so angry. They're looking at Genevieve now. So let's have Robert try to save the day but can you appease the gnome? Robert has ang angered the gnomes. The Gnome High Council will now pass judgment on the Gnome Kicking Monster. Ooh, can you, Genevieve, try to appease the Gnome? I mean, the Gnomes seem to be happy now. This one is not angry. Can we give a gift or something? No, we can just kick them. Oh, they're moving so quickly. Let's have Judy kick the Gnomes, actually. She probably sees them and... She wants for this Harvest Fest to be great and she would like for her daughter to listen to her. But Genevieve, she doesn't care and I think eventually she's going to cast a spell on her mom and, as I said, be a little bit mischievous with with Judy. But Judy and Genevieve, they're pretty much the two members of the family that run the household. They're the ones that usually make a day good or bad depending on how they, how they behave with each other. Oh, Astrid, I hear you have been building your magical prowess. Cool. She's actually probably telling her, please do not cast a spell on anyone outside of the magic realm. Please do not. And Genevieve, she's going to say, yeah, sure. I'm not going to do anything. I'll wait until I'm back to practice magics. But let's go and kick the gnome. Is Ginger dirty again? Yes, she is. Let's have Anthony clean her. Let's give Ginger a bath. He's not in a good mood. I'm sure he hates this holiday right now. <laughs> But let's have Genevieve, even though Astrid told her to not be mischievous and to not do any kind of magic on Judy, she's probably going to do that anyway. I'm just going to wait for Anthony to leave the room so that he cannot see his sister cast a spell on her mom. But let's go while Judy is turning her back on, on Genevieve. Let's go and make her zip zap. <gasps> There you go. Is Genevieve gonna be happy now? Yes, she is. Let's go and kick this gnome. And now, <laughs> she's feeling days. Zip zap zippity zam. There must be a lot of static in the air. That was a serious jolt. Poor Judy. But Genevieve was expecting this day to go bad like this. And she really wanted to cast a spell on her mom. This is her way of feeling more powerful with her mom. So I'm going to have Judy just go here and nap. And I'm going to replace whatever's broken here. But Genevieve is actually quite happy now with herself to have finally done some magic on her mother and to have used her powers to, to cause some mischief at the house. Oh, is Ginger? Does Ginger need to go out? Let's go and pet her and offer friendship. And maybe we can play with her to try and feel a little bit better. Let's go and play. Is there another gnome that we can maybe give a gift to? Yes, we can go ahead. Oh, we cannot. We can just kick the gnome. We cannot do anything else. Is there a another angry gnome somewhere, maybe? I don't see another one. Well, then let's just have Robert kick the gnome. So this way he can at least have a good a good holiday and I'd like for him as well to be thankful for his daughter to be here today. We'll need to clean the place as well. It was so messy. <laughs> but Genevieve was definitely very stressed out and nervous to be back here and she was expecting her mom to get on her case and to annoy her with with her lies actually. So nobody knows that Genevieve has been lying all this time to be in university. She hasn't tell she hasn't told her family that she was a spellcaster and that she could actually use magic. But let's go as well and be thankful for her dad. She loves her father. She just hates her mom and things never go well with her. And the food is already disgusting. It wasn't the, it wasn't the best harvest fest for sure. I'm so sorry that it was all over the place. But it was to be expected, especially with the gnomes and with Genevieve fighting with her mom. And I'm sure that her dad told her, you know what, please just clean a little bit. Let's go and throw away everything. And let's have you do the same. Let's go actually put an inventory, everything. Let's put an inventory. 
And Judy is actually feeling a little bit a little bit better and she doesn't even want to be thankful for anything. She just doesn't care from being materialistic. Let's have Robert clean this food here. Let's clean up and clean this counter here as well. Apparently it's disgusting. And Anthony just went to sleep. He doesn't want for he he was done with this day. He just couldn't handle it anymore. But he has expected this day went fairly poorly, I want to say. Poor Anthony had an awful day, but as I said, it was to be expected. But Genevieve will be going back to Glimmerbrook fairly soon, so let's have her hug her father, hug lovingly, and apologize for the mess that this holiday was. She's not going to hug her mother, plus Judy, she's not really the kind to give hugs anyway. But I think that deep inside, Genevieve kind of hoped that her mom would, would have changed since she has left the house and that she would have been missing her daughter and that she would have been able to accept her a little bit more easily. But Judy hasn't changed and she's still very strict and she's still hoping for Genevieve to go on a path that Genevieve is just not interested in getting into, you know? She doesn't want to become a judge or go into the law career. She doesn't want to join the military, she just has no idea what to do and now that she's a spellcaster she just wants to discover a bit more her powers and she would have liked to be able to tell her mom that she is a spellcaster but now she believes that her mom is just never going to accept her for who she is and she's really angry at her mom she she's actually quite disappointed in her mother's behavior and i'm sure that judy is also disappointed these two are just not on good terms look at that she's looking at her daughter very angrily but Genevieve will be spending the night here and she'll be leaving early tomorrow. She told her she told her parents that she had exams on Monday morning and that she had a group project to work on. And that's why she had to go back to Brightchester tomorrow and not spend the weekend here. But she just cannot stay here any longer. She's glad to have seen her dad, to have seen her brother and to have seen Ginger. But she just cannot stand her mother and just be near her makes her feel anxious so she's going to leave tomorrow morning for Glimmerbrook even though her family believes that she's going back to university but on that note you guys I'm going to end this part here so sorry that it was all over the place I, I'm still kind of struggling when it comes to holidays in the sims it's still kind of stressful for me but I really hope that you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next one bye everyone